One of the key things of uh, filming is making sure that your uh, frame is your, your the way the picture is framed, what you're seeing on the screen. Is that's this is sort of cinema cinematography is, is setting the layout and making sure that uh, your frames that you your frame properly in the picture. And so, <laughs> yeah, the what's made it, this new the new setup I have that allows me to. Uh, have a portable rig that allows you know to film and I don't have to rest it or lean on on anything and I can actually adjust the angles to the way I want it to uh, the way I want it to uh, uh, makes uh, vlogging that much easier and it also makes uh, laying out the shot making sure that the shot is framed properly uh, this is also easier so uh, what am I doing back? What am I doing in the in the, in the bed area? Right, right. Oh, is he just getting up, or is you know? I thought we just did this. You know, well, yeah, we just uh, three hours ago we just did this. But I've had uh, just finished breakfast more or less, but not uh, about uh, fifteen minutes ago. All right, and. My body's telling me this is this is the first meal I've had in uh, more than eighteen hours, and the body does take a while to digest. It takes energy to digest, and in many cases, if your body's already tired, then eating is gonna, just going to make it more tired because uh, the process of digestion takes energy. So my body's now telling me I should go back to bed for at least a couple hours, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, the next thing I have on the setup uh, for today, for uh, the thing, next thing on the schedule for today, uh, after this uh, uh, interruptive sleep, uh, is I'm going to work on uh, the old research desk. I'll show you where the old research desk was. Uh, that was well, more, you know, more than a year ago. Uh, last summer, uh, to summer 2015, I migrated the... Uh, research desk back here to where it is now did some fixing up and here we are so what's happening to the old research well the old research desk is being repurposed it's being restructured it's going to be part come partially a music studio so i have to do some fixing up on there and that's what's next because that way i'll take a device a, a, a recording device that has very good microphones on there and hook it up to the uh, digital uh the uh, DSLR, uh, my main filming camera, the studio camera, and uh, I'll hook that up as a microphone and use that quality microphone. This it's a, it's a high quality microphone. Use that to uh, to, to mic everything. So uh, we'll see how that works. So that's sort of what's on on schedule next. Is basically uh, setting up the uh, the music studio and. Uh, bring out the digital recorder if that works all right on the camera do a, do a sound test on the camera and then film the uh, first episode of uh, Tweetline Plus so that's what we've got uh, that's what I've sort of got that's what's on schedule next after I take my rest here anyways uh, I'm going to leave that here for now and I will see you uh, next segment of the Big Bang Theory BTS vlog alright take it easy Hey, uh, welcome back to the next segment of the BTS vlogs. Yeah, uh, apparently uh, my body's going through a bit of a crash, so 
I'm getting up periodically. Not that I'm getting up now, I'm kind of actually coming back. Uh, I had a little something to eat, a little bit something more to have to eat, so my uh, reintroduction to food is going well. And but my body is still tired. I'm, uh, I'm up for about maybe a few minutes and I'm tired again. Uh, it was up for, I got up around seven. It's now eight o'clock, so about an hour, and then now my body is feeling a little more tired and. I, Ended up going to go back to back to sleep for a bit. Uh, until my body says, "Okay, it's n <laughs> I've caught up on enough sleep." I so that's the way things are going to go today. It's going to be up and down all day today. Uh, I'll try to vlog as much as I can. Uh, it's working out that the way I've got my lighting situation is that uh, all I have to do is put two lights on behind you, uh, behind the camera, and it works. It's uh, there's enough light to film here. Uh, before I had lights over to there that had, I had to get into them, they weren't as easy to get at, uh, so it would, took a little bit more effort to vlog, uh, right out of bed, so, but this is working out well, uh, so, uh, just in a few seconds after I finish this, I'm gonna get up and turn the light off and then get some more sleep. Anyways, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp, uh, so, I, you know what time... It's just a little, a little bit past 8, so uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. So it's 8 hours and 6 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March 30th, uh, 2016. That's our time and date stamp. So that's what's happening. You know, um, I do have on schedule, uh, I should, if, I, if I can get up at 11 o'clock, the goal is to, to sleep another 2-3 another, uh, hours, get up at around 11 o'clock, Begin the upload uh, of uh, the next episode of uh, Big Bang Theory L's BTS vlog. And then from there, go food shopping, come back, and then resume the re go back to bed again. And I probably aim to be up so I can go to church tonight for around, uh, I think it's. Uh, It'll be about five, six o'clock in the evening, so that's how I've planned my day so far. It's tentative. We'll see what happens. Um uh, but uh yeah. Uh anyways, uh I will see you in oh, three, four hours, right? Three three between three and four hours. We'll hopefully three o'clock three hours, but we'll see what it ends up happening. It could be longer than that. Uh but uh uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, see you in the next segment. Oh, time for the next segment of the BTS vlog. Yeah. Uh, I'm up. It's, uh, give me a time and date stamp here. It is 11 hours and 22 minutes into the day of Wednesday, March uh, 30th, 2016. And I'm getting ready to upload uh, the next uh, episode. It's in the uh, it's in the in, in the its proper position. So now I'm just gonna open this up. Yeah, well, I'm, op <laughs> I'm opening the twelfth episode. I think that's a good milestone for coming back to the twelfth episode. So this is the twelfth episode we're, do, we're doing now, uh, and I think things are getting better. I'm vlogging more; it's easier to vlog, so it's not a, much of a problem to vlog. Well, even when I'm tired, you know, uh, it's not too bad uh, when you, you know, <laughs> in terms of vlogging. I know sometimes you know the when the uh, when the When your attention is uh, or focus is split, there is an issue in terms of uh, having this discussion. I'm trying to type on the keyboard here, enter the information so I can upload everything. Then, uh, of course, I'll be getting dressed and getting ready to go food shopping.
Yeah, I keep forgetting that you're there. Sometimes the browser does things that are unexpected and uh, I'm gonna it pull my focus away for a bit. Um, I just gotta get this going. So about a, in about two hours, everything should be done, uploaded. So by the time I come back from food shopping, uh, I should be putting up the next episode. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave this here for now with you guys because uh, I am focusing on this. Almost done. And then uh, I'll see you again. Actually, in a, actually, I'll probably see you again in a, not even a few minutes, like 15 minutes. Because I'll say I'm going to talk to you on my way out when, I, when I'm getting dressed. So, see you then. It's not only, really, it's just about 15, 20 minutes later, not even. It's uh, basically uh, 11.40. 11 hours and 40 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, March uh, 30th, 2016, and getting ready to go food shopping. So we're finally here. What happened yesterday is I have uh, funds laid out in a variety of different uh, uh, accounts for different things. And it, accidentally, I use the money earmark for food and the food account for something else. So I had to transfer money. It wasn't that it was short of money, it's just that that account was short on the money because it had only been allotted for food. But I had ended up putting something else on there, uh, an upgrade. And because. Uh, of the upgrade, there wasn't enough money uh, for the for, for here. I ordered some new lights for so I can film in more places. And uh, the cost of the lights well, it wasn't bad. It was like seventy dollars altogether, including tax. Um, ended up taking up. Uh, too much money. So that resulted in me having to put more money in the account, the food, the, in, in the food account. And that sort of delayed things and pushed the food shopping back until today. So here we are. Getting dressed to go food shopping. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's not bad. Uh, so I'm not wearing my windbreaker pants. I'm dressing a lot lighter than I did before. And we're off. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter how tired I am. Because the food shopping has to get done. You have to have food in order to eat. And that means you have to do food shopping. There we go. Nicely set. I have to get the ice pack. There you go, ice pack. To make sure my st straps are, are adjusted properly so that uh, it's uh, it's not too complicated to get it on and off. And uh, so we're on our way out now. 
because I'm doing food shopping now, it means that the project that I had set scheduled for now, which is basically uh, working on the music studio, is pushed off. And this is how the day adjusts. That, you know, sometimes you have, have a project that are laid out, that you, you have a tentative schedule laid out, and something comes along and it changes it. So. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll have to wait and see when I get back. I have to have something to eat when I get back because I'll be uh, very hungry uh, after that walk. And that's going to mean that uh, uh, I'm going to have to have the rest period afterwards as well to see how tired my body is. And that will determine uh, how the rest of the day is kind of going to kind of play out. Anyways, we'll see you when we get back. It's a little off. There, there it is, but we'll see you when we get back and uh, yeah. Next segment of BTS Vlogs. I am back. Needless to say. And I've gotten everything I need. Woo. Uh, I, oops. Out of camera frame, out of frame. I've gotten everything I need and I'm still kind of un unsteady on my feet. So it was a bit of a challenge walking there and back. Uh, this is what happens sometimes. The fatigue uh, and not eating saps energy from the muscles. In addition to sapping energy from the muscles, uh, the mechanical coordination needed to move the muscle, the physical portion of it, is also impaired. So in many ways, Fatigue acts very much like intoxication, but to a more significant degree that you also have uh, muscle function impairment. And so there is a need uh, to watch for this, and I am in this condition. And then adjust your diet, and of course, and as much as you can, your, your sleeping schedule. This is where you have to, you know, force yourself to take uh, a little bit of extra time off. And you say, okay, I've pushed myself too far. I've gone over my limit a little bit. This is to sort of, you know, where you see, begin to see the impairment. You're not seeing a lot of damage, but you see impairment. And you need to adjust for that. And that's, so that's what I'm doing. I've adjusted my diet. And I'm going to be taking more time off. Today and tomorrow. So, uh, that's going to be a thing. Uh, every time I get too hot, the left boot seizes up. It creates a, a vacuum that holds the boot to my leg. And that suction is, is powerful enough that I can't pull the boot off. So now to unpack my bag. I got everything I needed, plus the stuff for, for the upgrades. I got the coat hangers I wanted to get. Because right now there's only one coat hanger over there where I we see your hanging. Anyway, Dad, the next time I go out, hopefully, uh, you'll see that there'll be a uh, two or three coats hanging there. Uh, because it's getting a little hot to walk with the jacket, so I'm going to need a lighter jacket. But the lighter jacket that I have, which is still down, is a nice jacket, and I don't want to sort of, uh, I don't want to wreck it, so. Uh, I don't want to wreck it, so I'm going to uh, put another jacket up there. 
that sort of does the job of a light jacket. But can be in, 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 in a sense sacrificed. To the utility at hand. In other words, the jacket I'm using now to walk with uh, is at least 15 years old. It's an industrial jacket, so it holds up very well, so it's, everything's holding up fine. There's no issue for me. And that means that I can spend more time and more effort. Oh, yeah, it's more time on that jacket in terms of using heavy load than if I had a good jacket. So, you know, if you have a good jacket and you're using it to do work in, there's a fear that uh, you're going to end up ruin, ruining the jacket. But if it's a old jacket that's not as important as a new jacket, then you know, if something happens to the jacket, then you've got your use out of it, and you just get a new one. So, uh, that's the philosophy behind that. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I hate about these uh, uh, bags of milk is you have to be careful with them. Because the plastic is not very thick, it can be punctured. And in the fridge, for some reason, there are sharp edges that can pop the bag. So if you're not careful with how you put the bag of milk in the fridge, you can pop the bag of milk and have milk everywhere. You know, so let alone losing the milk, you have to do all that cleanup afterwards. Right, everything has to be pulled out of the fridge, all the mess has to be clean, the spill has to be cleaned up. And functionally, uh, nobody's happy because of that occurred. Oh. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, I'll show you the hanger that I got, like a, you know, the sort of uh, <laughs> this is what I got. It should be enough to hang all the coats up there. There's uh, one, two, three. Uh, there's five hooks. Five. Uh, so I should be able to put this in no problem, and it should hang, it, give me enough room. I only have three coats to put up all three coats there. Anyways, I'm going to leave this now. I'm all unpacked. It's time for me to sort of get changed. Uh, push the, uh, the video that's now up because the, the 12th episode is now up. I'm going to put it out to uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. And that will should send everything out to Twitter and uh, all the other social media that I have. So, anyways, uh, I will see you in the next segment of the uh, BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. Well, hello everybody. It is time for the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory House BTS Vlog. Yeah, sometimes I just usually say BTS Vlog because uh, there is going to be more than one section. <clears throat> the Big Bang Theory uh, uh there's Insta Vlogs, there's going to be um, uh, Living the Kawhi Life. That's coming up next. Within about a week or so, that should be coming out. Uh, so there'll be a variety of different sections to... Uh, the Big Bang Theory. This is specifically the BTS vlog, which is behind the scenes. Uh, I'll also be developing, for, because I've gotten uh, inquiries, uh, of that there's going to be a channel affiliate program. So Actually, not even a channel affiliate. There'll be a channel affiliate program, but there's also going to be 
a network affiliate program. So uh, as we grow, uh, you can sort of uh, work with us and uh, help us grow. So that's the way uh, things are going to work. Uh, I have, uh, I see comments. It's difficult uh, uh, to reply to them all the time because there's just so much work that has to get done around here. So I'll try as much as I can to reply to comments here in the video, in the video as I, you know, as they come along. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me give you time and day stamp because I've kind of forgot to do that the, the last time. It is nine out. It's oh no, it's a uh, twenty-one hours and twenty-seven minutes into the day of Wednesday, uh, March thirtieth, uh, uh, two thousand sixteen. I was supposed to vlog uh, after I had something to eat, but the uh, the problem was is that my adrenaline dropped off so quickly that by the time I finished eating, my legs and you know my body was basically sore. And uh, I ended up just going to bed. Uh, but that, when your body gets to that point where it's that fatigued and the pain begins uh, from exercise or uh, uh, being asleep, sleep deprivation, then the only option left is sleeping. So uh, that's what I did. <laughs> sleep was the main thing. And uh, that was about four o'clock so five hours uh, five and a half hours later uh, it's time to get up and start the next uh, segment of work and then that, that's when the day uh, kind of splits up like this this is what it is you, you work in segments so uh, I'm awake now I'll be awake for a couple hours and um, I'm gonna have something to eat do some work so I want to get a next ch next chunk of the uh, schedule done so we'll see what happens uh, on the schedule and I will sort of get back to you, uh, probably before, before, before we're good, let's say after I eat, uh, maybe an hour after I eat, then I'll come back and sort of give you an update as to what's going on, and we'll go from there. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.